Have you ever wondered how cutting-edge technology is transmitting the way we map our world from above? Well, today we are diving into the exciting world of LiDAR technology with a game-changer from Yellowscan, the Ultra 3 LiDAR. But before we delve into the details, let me introduce myself. I'm Andres, and as a CEO of AGA company and distributor of Yellowscan, I've had the privilege to witness firsthand the transformative power of innovative technologies like the Yellowscan Ultra 3. If you ask what's the difference between the Ultra 2 and Ultra 3, uh, of course, it's design itself. So the first look of the unit is different. Of course, color is black and yellow, so the yellow scan style. Uh, next, you have the same single button solution. You just press the button and you do your acquisition. Uh, with the head uh, HESI 32XT, you achieve the same density of the point cloud. So the speed is the same, the scanner is the same. But what inside? Inside of this unit, we have a different time use system. It comes from SBG. And all other parts are totally the same. If you can see, uh, this unit has uh, attached sky port, so it means that you can use it for the DJI Matrix 300, 350 or Matrix 200. It's very easy, you just attach it and rotate it, and then it's connected. And all power comes from uh, UAV, so that means that you don't need to use your battery. So you can also uh, put the battery inside of this unit and use it with the battery or you can use it without battery, no problem. So if you have, for example, another type of drone and you don't have the Skyport itself, uh, then it's uh, of course probably to have the version uh, with uh, standard brackets and uh, mount it to your UAV and you can easy fly, no problem. The new feature also you can find uh, two antenna ports, so you can easily attach it, so you don't need to screw it like, uh, like it was before, you need to screw your uh, wire uh, to your unit and then you have connection with GNSS. Now you just put it, you just plug it and unplug it, so no more screws. Uh, I think it's uh, the very good solution and very easy to attach and detach the unit itself. Next what we have, of course, we have this plastic cover, as you can see, uh, the plastic cover comes with magnet and it's easily attached to you and covers your lighter during your transportation. And also what we can see the new. The new features feature which came with the unit is embedded camera. So it's built-in camera, you can see it here. And using this camera you can colorize your point cloud. It's very easy, it's very fantastic, but the quality, of course, with this small camera, not very high. But if you want to get uh, better quality of your pictures, of course, you can connect here in the back of the scanner the external cameras. And therefore, you can use it for photogrammetry and for better point colorization. Next, what is good feature of this unit is uh, you just open it and you have all the slots you need. This one is big one for the battery. If you don't want to use UAV power or you don't have ability to have it, so you just put the battery, you cut, you close the cover and you can fly. But if everything like we have now with the sky port, you don't need to use the battery. And also this uh, system without the battery is less than one kilo. So this is fantastic as well. So very light system, less than one kilo. You can fly with Matrice 350 or 300 almost at least 30 minutes, easy. Next, uh, you also have this uh, network cable port. This uh, needs to use, uh, for example, if you need to do some settings, to change some settings inside of the system and check the health status for the, for the technical support. And as you can see, we have one port with a USB, with fast USB output. Uh, this is for your data. So basically, all data are inside of your USB stick. You just put it after the flights, you just put it out and put to your computer and process your data. So the cover made also very slight and good. As you can see, everything works fine. And on the other side, you can see our button one button solution, you just press it, system turns on, find the satellites, ready to fly, and it will 
show you green light. So it's very easy to understand when you can fly. If you dive inside of the technical specification of this unit, you can see that the precision is at two and a half centimeters. So it's a very, very precise unit. Uh, and also, if you look at the uh, slot of the scanning, of course, it's 360. You can use it as well for the fly and drive system. Uh, you can use it on the car. You can use it on the drone. Very fast data acquisition with this with such a unit. So if you want to fly very high, it's easy, no problem. 150 meters is achievable for this unit. But during the regulation, the maximum official flights can be 120. As you know, the UAV LiDAR is coming to our lives a while ago. So we started to use yellow scan maybe eight years ago. And we, of course, together working and we are a distributor in the Baltics and the Russian speaking countries. So therefore, we are able to show you uh, the best solution. Of course, it's a yellow scan. Uh, for example, if you're going to find uh, uh, for your needs UAV LiDAR, uh, the name yellow scan is, I think, is the most popular and therefore the unit they have is also uh, remarkable. So what uh, I mean by remarkable and why you know the yellow scan? The yellow scan based in France, in Montpellier. Uh, and this French company is uh, really good at uh, this solution like uh, UAV lighters. So they started like a pioneers uh, to build a new solution uh, for surveyors because, you know, uh, when you go outside and you have a huge amount uh, to survey, then you need uh, something uh, what, can done, what can be done in a very fast way and very precise way. So, of course, uh, before that, uh, many companies used like uh, services from uh, airplane airborne mapping and this is also good so if you map uh, huge territories this is a uh, totally good and uh, sometimes you need maybe uh, to find uh, between uh, like not to fly uh, whole cities or huge territories uh, or countries as well uh, but you need for example project kind of hectare two three or five or maybe more and uh, then you go, of course, outside using your GNSS units, total stations and making a lot of points uh, of, uh, to do measurements. Uh, but then uh, after all this, you just uh, become tired. And sometimes, not every time, of course, you have these uh, all points and everything. Uh, and not all, all, all the measurements are uh, taken, for example, outside. And then, of course, you start to find the solution. Solution one is to use uh, photogrammetry, but uh, uh, in urban territories, of course, it's, uh, it's, it, it, it looks like good. Of course, you can see everything around. But uh, when you go to forestry and uh, vegetation, then and vegetation territory, so you are not able to achieve the centimeter accuracy of your data. Uh, therefore, it's the best solution is, of course, the LiDAR. LiDAR units, I will not go deep inside of this technology because you already know this. If you are familiar with the, any LiDAR unit or um, any scanning technology, so this is easy. From one side, of course, uh, while you're trying to choose the best solution for you, of course, you go, you go inside of the budget. So, uh, easy. If you don't have enough money, you are trying to find, if you don't have enough budget, you are going to find a uh, kind of cheaper solution and you can see all, all around the world you can uh, uh, buy any of them. So, there is uh, no limits of the UAV LiDARs. Uh, but then you became like a victim of this unit and I'm not sure that uh, everything will be good as it good with the yellow scan. So this company is already more than 10 years uh, on the market. Uh, this company uh, makes a price for us, uh, for surveyors as well, for our clients with a new product, with a new product upcoming. For example, today, if we're talking about the Ultra, it's already, it's Ultra 2. So yellows can change uh, the, the head. For example, this one is Hesai, 32 beams and everything is good. So inside is a Planix uh, and the computer, of course, for, you, for all this data uh, calculation and transformation. But then uh, you can see that the new version has a totally uh, different design. 
Uh, and also the IMU system is totally different. It's not a Planix uh, 15 anymore. This is a SBG IMU system. Uh, it's not uh, like it's worse, but it's, I think it's a, a bit uh, better and uh, in accuracy if you compare, for example, technical specification of these two units. Uh, and then you also can see the design of this system is uh, totally different. And uh, it's, uh, uh, I, think, uh, I think this one is uh, really you need to look for. So there is a nice unit from Yellowscan. Yellowscan Ultra 3 uh, with his high, uh, with his high LiDAR, with a SBG IMU system and everything is for you. You just uh, can't imagine how the data and the quality of the data is good. So we did couple tests of these slides. I, I'm not going to tell you that this is a test. We just use this uh, LiDAR to, to see what we have now with new IMU and new design with embedded camera and uh, of course the cloud station so the software became uh, much more uh, easy to use of course everything what made this yellow scan is absolutely easy to use uh, one button solution the same kind i can tell you that uh, one button solution is for the cloud station as well you just put folders in the right place and then press the yellow button not only on the scanner itself but also in cloud station and then just sit and relax and you will have very nice and good data the quality of data i guarantee you remarkable the precision is perfect so everything is just fantastic it is not only the system it is your friend to work with thank you very much for your attention and of course see you next time and i can tell you that uh, for the next time, we prepare for you uh, something new from Yellowscan. I think it could be Navigator. You know what is bathymetry? You will know it. We will show you. But later. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye.